Welcome back. It's 551. Tomorrow's our big day. It's our annual super recycle event at the Thomas and Mac. We're making sure that we keep not only our e-waste, old and unused electronics out of the landfill, but personal documents, pills, and so much more. Here with us this morning is one of our event partners, Care Coalition Executive Director Diane Anderson. Good morning. Good morning. So great Thanks to see you. Us. Thanks, Thanks a lot for coming of in. Of course. Uh, first of all, for folks who don't know, what does Care Coalition do? Care Coalition is a substance abuse prevention coalition, and we dabble in mental health because we all have to work together. Um, but we educate and um, we, we go out into the community. We're very grassroots, so we're very hands-on in our community, um, educating about the ills of pills. Right, ills of pills. Ills of pills. And so, what are the hazards and the ills of keeping medicines, old pills, around your house? Well, you know, it's it's dangerous. We you don't want to keep them. In the house, we know doctors are over prescribing, and you probably need them for three days and they've got them for 30 days. Kids get a hold of them. Mm. Unfortunately, instead of the aspirin, it's a little something a little stronger these days. Mm -hmm. They get a hold of them. Elderly people can't tell the difference between a pill or not when they're taking prescriptions. Uh, you don't want to, you just don't want to leave them in somebody's in chance for somebody to get it in their hand. Right. And, uh, you know, the other thing is most people are flushing down our toilets. And a lot of people think it's okay to just flush your old pills down the commode, right. down the toilet. And what's wrong with that? Well, because they go into our water system. And although our water, our Las Vegas Valley Water District does a great job of filtering, right. not all of that can be filtered. So, you know, you're here every day drinking water, consuming water in one way or another, whether you're cooking, coffee, whatever. And, and it's, you know, it gets in our water system and it's bad for our babies, it's bad for everybody. We just don't want pills in our water. Oh, Why no. take a chance? Better to be safer Absolutely. than sorry, right? Yep. Absolutely. So this event is huge for people bringing in all their old medications. I mean, I remember almost it's, every other car <laughs> had loads of old medication right. because it's just a lot of it's automated prescription services, and people just get overladen with pills in their in their homes. So how would you like people to bring their pills to so turn them in? What we really need everybody to do is make sure that you're bringing your pills and taking them out of your own bottles, putting them in a plastic bag like this, and handing them off to the employee. Employees and people that are down the line. Okay. Um, your personal information is, uh, are, you know, is on those pills. Right. So we're not going to be marking them out at all this year. If you want to mark them out, we'll put them in a recycled dumpster, um, and that's fine. Um, but this is how we want you to do. Okay. So and a clear bag. Cl you know, put everything in there. Right. And, and we, there's some things that we cannot take, Sherry. Okay. We just can't do it this year. Um, we're not going to be taking needles. Uh, if people have needles, they can drop them off at Track B on Charleston. That's great. We can't do liquids, batteries, um, inhalers, any kind of, uh, you know, any, any kind of inhaler because okay. they blow up in the incinerator. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and it causes a the really aerosol inhalers, horrible, right. horrible. And what about vapes? People are asking me about vapes. Well, we're not going to take batteries. So if you bring a vape in, please make sure that there's no batteries in it. Okay. If you're not sure, we're not going to take it from it. you. Yeah. Okay. It's super important not to have batteries in there. And for yeah. people who can't make the event, and there are always people that have other things to do, where can they dispose of their pills any other time? You can come by. Uh, our office, Care Coalition at 1919 South Jones, okay. between Oki and Sahara, we have what we call a doTERRA bag. And uh, you just use that bag, you pour your pills in it, you put water in it, you zip it up, you shake it up, and you can throw it away. It deactivates any of the drug that's in that bag, and they've been real handy for our, for our folks at the uh, assisted living. Wow. Um, and people at home that just can't get out. Right. Just and it's just, by. it turns to mush, and then you can just throw it in the, the trash. Gel, you just throw it in the trash safely. And it's safely. Yep. All right, yep. Diane, thank you so much. No problem. Boy, your folks are going to be busy out there yeah. tomorrow, yeah. so everybody just remember, follow those instructions the best you can.